accords all sorts I get floored with force I endorse any sources near but ports in these parts Yo, yo, me some beers, I'ma go with these odds Till I see stars, till I be me Large stream, three yards, then you see me acting like a retard Hey guys, welcome to Bars Gaming, I'm John And I'm Chris Indeed um, and today we're actually doing some CPU benchmarks. We're going to start off with the uh, Intel Pentium G840 CPU. Um, we've got a couple of other ones to do later on, but we'll get into that later on. <coughs> Probably first thing you notice if you're a regular watcher of this is that I've changed the intro. Uh, John doesn't actually know this yet, but I've decided to use his music instead nice. of uh, holding on to Buckethead's <laughs> music. Um, Big fan of Buckethead myself, but I can't use his music forever, so we started using uh, John's music. I'm a big fan of John. <laughs> John's a big fan of himself. That's right. As am I, of mm. John, not myself. <coughs> um, anyway, so back to the Intel Pentium G840. It's a dual-core CPU. It's clocked at 2.8 gigahertz. Um, it's coming in as, well, it, it is in as one of the entry-level CPUs. It's uh, quite a bit cheaper than any of the uh, the CPUs that we're benching it against, so... Don't think that because it's you know nowhere near the 3770K that you know you need to get a 3770K because it costs about four times more. Yeah. Um, what else can we say about it? I think it covers it pretty well. I mean, if you're comparing it, the other ones are doing pretty powerful CPUs. So. Yeah. It's an entry level CPU. It's not designed for the the overclocker or yeah. or someone who's got a massive bank account. This is designed to to sort of get you in there on the uh, but, yeah. on the eleven fifty five CPU side. that's going to work at a cheap price. <laughs> yeah, and it's really? not. Yeah, well, we'll get into that afterwards. Yeah. But yeah, so it's for the eleven fifty five sockets. Um, <coughs> so it's it's current generation. It's two point eight gigahertz. It's cheap. Let's see how it does. Benchmark. Benchmark time. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't drink in here. Put your glasses up. Wop, 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 for my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles. Yeah, yeah. Whiskey remix like a phoenix, feeling reborn. Watch your porn, see your three tits, fearless in the beer. See this, so we get we need beer like. Beer. They be licks. We sip at the bar, raise into these lips. We feel like Scarface. We are we piss dealers. We this beer, my idea does lead me with speed to whatever beer be. Cause Bro, my bottle, give me three whiskeys, three sixes in the Zesky as we fish. My bottle, bring me to the floor like fish. We twist these caps, we smash the meat liquid. James Christ, go on You boys made it. Alright, so as you can see, uh, on that benchmark list, it doesn't look as good as all the other CPUs, and like I said, it's not really a fair comparison, because its closest competitor mm. there is the i5 2300, and that costs twice as much. So that's something that you definitely need to factor in. <coughs> Performance-wise, for what it costs, it's actually quite good. Um, I think that. So if you're looking yeah. at making like a, a budget gaming computer, or just a regular desktop that you're going to use for browsing or whatever, um, this will be... You know, more than enough. Yeah. Um, unless you're going to be using it with a, a total heavyweight GPU, it should be fine. Um, what else can I say? Oh, no, that's about it. I mean, for general use, it's a great CPU, good price, and the, I mean, it'll perform any any task that you need for general use or just basic gaming. Really, it, it'll it'll cover you. And, and uh, like Chris said, I mean, yeah, look at it at, at the benchmarks here yeah it's not in comparison to those other CPUs but yeah keep in mind the price difference I mean it's like comparing a 630 to a 670 you know if you want an entry level you're going to pay a smaller price if you want your high end is and things that you're going to be able to overclock well yeah you're going to have to pay a bit more but yeah for for, for, for the price value and entry level CPU I, I think it's done a pretty good job personally. We'll, we'll get more CPUs on that benchmark list as we go along for the time being that's all I've got to work with at the moment um, so again, not a fair comparison, 
um, but it still gives you an idea on how it performs. So uh, mm -hmm. probably what I should have mentioned before is the benchmarks that we used, and that was pretty much just pass mark seven. Um, broken down into all the individual yeah. uh, components of it, as well as the overall score and center bench, because um, they give you a rough idea on just about every point of performance. Um, center bench always a good one. Yeah, yeah, center bench is a good raw performance one. Um, so yeah, all in all, uh, definitely value for money CPU. It's not a heavyweight. You know, you're not you're not going to be able to do video encoding and stuff like that uh, in the click of a second. It's it's a cheap CPU and, and it does its job for how much you pay. There's no doubt about that. Good enough to watch Boris Gaming on YouTube. Yes. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later, guys. See you next time.